Hello, I'm Kozue. This is a promotion video with Born Pretty, Rainbow Aurora, Cat Magnetic Gel. We will look at the five colors of this series. In the second half of the video, I'm gonna be making a set of nails. I hope you can get some design ideas. Let's get started. Okay, so this is RA01. It's got a very thick texture. I thought the color was opaque, but actually it's not opaque at all. It's thick because of so many particles in it, I guess. Second coat. I'm gonna be hitting it with a magnet wand. Oh, I can see the rainbow. I'm resetting it by stroking it with a brush. The rainbow particles are slowly moving. They move pretty slowly. Kind of like sandwiching from the top and the bottom parts. The pattern comes out beautifully. It looks pretty rainbowish to me. If you apply it on a dark colored gel nail, It'll look like a galaxy nail design. Let's hit it a little more to collect more particles. I applied a top coat and cured. Look at this. Yeah, I can see a rainbow. Pinkish rainbow. I love it. I put it on upside down. Number two, it's a little greenish. The texture is also very thick. Again, the gel doesn't have much pigment in it. I'm gonna cure and apply the second coat. Yeah, I guess it's green. Can you see this rainbow-like effect? The main tint is green. You can definitely see rainbow hues, especially when you change the angles. A top coat enhances the rainbow effect. I can see the rainbow more clearly this way. Number three. This one is blue. Unless you hit a magnet, it doesn't look blue much. I'm gonna cure and apply the second coat. I get excited to see a rainbow on this one. I'm impressed that the particles are very fine. I'd be looking at the nails to find the rainbow if I apply it on my nails. Personally, I like this blue one the most. I applied a top coat and cured. I think it looks shinier with a top coat. It's like an elegant prism. Next, number four. I think it's purple or pink purple. It looks slightly pink purple with one coat. Cure and apply the second coat. This one also gives a good rainbow effect here. You can see a rainbow better when you tilt the nail. Look at this. Rainbow, rainbow's there. It looks like this with a top coat. With two coats, the free edge doesn't show much. Wow, I love it. Number five, it's so golden. Wow, it's so Christmassy, beautiful. I'm gonna cure and apply the second coat. At the moment, it's not very rainbowish or anything. What's it like with a magnet hit? Come on, rainbow. 
Here comes a rainbow. The blue one and purple one seem to have a stronger rainbow effect than this. Depending on how the light hits and the angle, the rainbow is more visible or vice versa. I love that transition. The prism effect is more visible this way. If you look at them like this, the rainbow effects look a bit different. I really like this soft rainbow reflection. This series is perfect for chic winter holiday nails. Now I'm going to make a winter nail set with one of the gels. Born Pretty Milky Jelly, number one for the thumb. It's sheer white. I love it so much that I use it often. It doesn't get as patchy as normal white gel nail. So it's highly recommended for beginners. I'm going to be applying it twice. Rainbow Aurora, Cat Magnetic, gel number three, the blue one. I will paint this partially on the top half. I'm going to use a magnet wand before curing it. I'm going to paint again. I just want to enhance the first magnetic effect. If you collect too many particles at one point, you can disperse them by hovering the wand about one centimeter above. I'm gonna stamp now. This is a plate I bought at a 100 yen shop a long time ago. Stamping polish bought at Walmart in Hawaii. I'm using a stamper from a 100 yen store. Mua. One more time. Mua. I'm gonna apply a matte coat. I'm gonna wipe it with ethanol after curing. I'm gonna rub it a bit with a makeup sponge. This way, you can remove excess chrome powder easily. Born Pretty Chrome Top Coat. The label says, Chrome Mirror Top Coat. I'm putting a little on a palette. Well, it's not a palette. I just cut a plastic file. I'm drawing some curved lines with a fine brush. I'm rubbing silver chrome powder on it. Chrome powder sticks very well on this top coat. I'm cleaning the excess powder with washi tape. I'm going to apply a top coat to finish. I wonder if I can meet the rainbow. Yes, there it is. Now I'm going to work with the middle finger. I'm going to paint it without applying anything underneath. I cured it without using a magnet wand. I'm going to paint it again. I'm picturing snow at night. I'm hitting the magnet at the top and bottom. I love it. So pretty. I'm going to stamp after curing it. A born pretty plate I got a long time ago. I meant to stamp it right in the center. But it's slightly to the right, isn't it? Okay, then I'll stamp one more snowflake. Upper left. I'm going to finish it with a top coat. It looks more rainbow-like with a top coat. One set is complete. The pinky and the index fingers are simply sheer white. It would be cute with a lot of glitters as well. How is it? Do you see the rainbows? I put the set on my fingers. Winter has come. Suddenly winter came. I'm wearing pink polish on the middle finger, under the nail tip. You can't see through it, right? The thumb looks like this. I know the nail tip is a little too big. It looks very nice with silver chrome powder. 
You can see the product links in the description. Please check the series out. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.